Your time is gold! Don't keep going back to your truck to get tools when you are troubleshooting and wiring. I've been doing construction work for 32 years and when it comes to electrical work, I swear by these tools. A tape measure. This tape measure is a fat max 35 feet. Dewalt makes it longer lengths as well. This thing stands 10 feet away when you hold it open. I also carry a scoop of gear tether line attached to it, so you never leave it with somebody else. A voltmeter. This one is a General Electric. It has all basic functions, measures alternate currents, direct current, and continuity. So you can do buildings electricity, low voltage and find out if current is coming from point A to point B. Needle nose pliers. It also from my collection of General Electric tools, no secrets here, linesman pliers. So you can make up wire connections, it's also a General Electric tool. Wire strippers. You can never have enough strippers, but that's not for this video. You need a wire stripper though. Again, General Electric. This multi tool 10 in 1 is essential. It's heavy duty and has all you need to screw and unscrew anything. I mean, screws. There are a bunch of cheap knockoffs out there, so I will put a link below where you can find the real thing. You will need a good wire cutter. I have this one for now. Vice grips or lock grips. This husky is the best I ever used. These are the basics that you want on your tool belt when walking into a troubleshooting job. So when you need to open walls, have a stud finder. This one is a zircon with stud, dip stud and AC detection. Know where everything is behind drywall before you make your holes, dude. Utility knife to actually cut drywall and pipe cutting too to cut EMT conduits. A fishing tape, I love the Klein tools fiberglass type, is like pulling through butter and is still strong. Pulling wires through conduits has never been easier. A pullet, you never need two people, one feeding and one pulling wires anymore. These rolls guide the wires and prevent snags. It is worth every penny. Stop paying helpers to do nothing but feed wires. You need a good surface level and a magnetic torpedo level. Hacksaw and some extra blades to cut metal as an electrician you'll be using this a good drill and drill bits a longer feeder bit like this one it is basically all you need my drills are a milwaukee fuel 18 volts and i also have a hilti 12 volts yeah you need two drills yeah you may need more specific tools ladders and other devices but if you carry this with you on every job you will be doing yourself a big favor Explanation is explaining to you what you need, when you need it and why. Also helps you get more efficient at what you do. You need to make more money, dude. Don't get stuck on a job without the tool you need. Subscribe and watch our toolkit videos.